What's going on guys? Welcome back to Forza Motorsport 7. Today we are picking up exactly where we left off with our career mode. This is part two. If you missed part one, I will link to it down below in the description and you guys can check it out for yourself. Also in the description you will find our giveaway link for the Forza 7 giveaway that we're doing. A lucky viewer is going to take home the Forza, a, a copy of Forza Motorsport 7 completely for free. So links down below if you'd like a chance of winning that. Anyways, let's jump in and continue on where we left off. So, between episodes, some things happened. I got this thing and said, loyalty rewards. Thank you for being a, fo a loyal Forza player. So, I was like, okay. And I got these two things. I got uh, driver gear. It celebrates the release of Forza Motorsport 7. And it says, I've reached tier 2 as a Forza veteran. Cool. I don't know what that means. I also got, actually, I also got given, if I go over to my garage, I got given, okay, where is it? Ford. My Ford Focus RS RX. Basically, when we completed the showcase at the end of last part, uh, for completing the showcase, we got given this. So that is awesome, which is going to increase our, our car collections here even more. And we, we've also got these as well. Whoa, that's a lot of XP. Plus 5,000 XP for every night race? Whoa, these Forza Thon cars are crazy. Forza Thon, I meant Forza Edition. Names are difficult, man. I also should have some more prize crates coming, but I don't know where they are. Because of your, your Forza reward stuff, I'm supposed to get, like, crates in the game, but I don't know where they are, so that's kind of annoying. Anyways, we got some Forza driver gear, so we can actually make our guy look pretty snazzy today. Whoa, was that Ken Block stuff? Climb Kana, no way. That's awesome. Let's get that Blue Crew driver life going with the VIP Blue driver gear. Thank you very much. Store at AR12Gaming.com, get some Blue Crew merch, uh, t-shirts, stickers, use code FM7 for 7% off, pretty cool. Alright, let's continue on after the blatant product placement. Let's go with the Seeker category and pick up where we left off. So we said we were going to do the Seeker Open category, and we actually get to choose any type of car we want. So we can actually use one of our new Forza Edition cars that we were given. But I'm not sure what we want to do. Like, we will get so much XP and so much money using these things i just don't know exactly what i want to do or do we go in and we build up like a rinky dink <gasps> oh i forgot about these oh the subaru oh man oh shit oh the the hoonigan one so here's what i wanted to do i wanted to start up from the bottom and build up like, and actually progress in this game a little bit. Like, I'm the type of person who wants to go in and, like, start in the bottom classes and earn my way all the way to the top. So, let's look at these E-class cars. Okay, why is it sorted by division? This is so- why- stop doing that. Class. I want to build a little race car. So, what can we go with? Maybe, like, a little MX-5? Oh, we can go with a little MX-5 cup car. That would be an awesome race car. I probably should pay attention to the money in this game, as I don't have- that much that's 55k that's fine we can do we can deal with 55k it's gonna re rain today that's not good okay um so can we build up our car wait why 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 have you already put me into the game i wanted to customize bro all right so do i have any mods that i want to use i mean i've got my vip ones i can buy some more crates if i really want to what if we go screw it 150k open let's see what we get in here all right Cross our fingers for some good stuff that's gonna hopefully make us some money. Let's see. We got tough break. Gre gre grease. Okay. BMW. We got a car. I didn't see what the last one was. Award badge. None of those are useful in any way. All right. So we're at the Hockenheim ring as we start up our second championship in the seeker in the seeker class, and we can continue to go through and see how we can do. Hopefully we can get up to the second division today. That would be awesome. Yo, look how foggy it is, man. Oh, are we going up against all MX- This is the MX-5 Cup! Holy crap! Yo, look how rainy it is. This is an ugliest day- It's a new line through Hockenheim Corner 1. Yo, we're four what? Okay, that guy's being bullied. <laughs> like, really bad. Okay, he's pulled out. Okay, this guy's being bullied now. T shit, forgot to break. Forgot to break. Sorry, Gen Jim. Why did we have to take these MX-5s? They are so slow. At least we're gonna have some proper progression now. Because I did want to start up from the very bottom and earn my way up to the top. You know what I mean? Because that's, that's sort of the way I like to play these games. Like, I'm the type of person who doesn't like to be handed a Lambo. 
out of the gate. I like to go in and earn it. Uh, to do that, though, we're gonna need to actually do well in these races, but the AI is actually pretty quick again today. We're on 80% difficulty, and they just seem really fast. All right, we're up into sixth place now. Can we get Mechberg around the outside? We're in the wrong gear, so probably not. I should have put Clutch on for this race, I realize. Yo, look at this lighting, man. I should say as well, I, I think I forgot to mention it last episode. I'm currently playing this on the Xbox One S, so uh, this is 1080p gameplay and stuff like that. If you'd like to see some of my 4K gameplay, I'll link to it down below and you guys can check it out for yourself. But I'm going to be playing on the Xbox One S until I get my Xbox One X, which should be coming, I will say pretty soon. Xbox Canada has hooked me up with a review uh, console, uh, and I'm going to get it a little bit early. So props to them for that. I can't say exactly when uh, I'm going to get it. But, uh, hopefully sooner rather than later, and I can start pumping out some Xbox One X 4K 60fps Forza Motorsport 7 gameplay. That is gonna be sweet. No one's actually crashed this race. In- in the first part of this season, or this- this- this Let's Play, I should say, everyone was crashing at least once a race, the AI would have a massive crash. And that's just not happening today, so, well, I mean, okay. I guess it may be because it's slower cars? We gotta start getting these seeker points going. I do not want a repeat of last episode. Alright, here we go. Little dive bomb into this corner. Up to second place. Come on! A wrong gear again! Yeah, safe to say my little Mazda is a little bit different than the McLaren that I drove last episode. Come on, bro. Pushing. Pushing. Not catching. Oh, actually catching. Can we get a run? Can we get a run? Leave it flat, top side of the curb. A little bit cheat. All right, lot cheaty. I'm sorry. I mean, if you're not cheating, you're not trying hard enough. Said by some famous person at some point in history, probably. All right, very well played, 100 series. I keep calling them seeker points, they're series points. I get very confused as a lot of the names are quite similar in here. All right, so we got 100 points. Nicely done. If we can level up to level three, that would be awesome. Let's see how much money we get for that. Our mods are giving us 12 grand. Thank you very much. We're nearly over 100 grand again. Very nice. And that Z4 is looking very, very appealing right there. All right, let's, uh, actually, since we have all these VIP stuffs, we might as well keep using them. We have three more of these cards. All right, so we are heading to Circuit of the Americas, the short circuit. We got three laps to do here. Let's, let's, let's do it. All right, let's go in this MX-5. Keep trying to tr claw in... All these wins, man. Whoa, whoa, there's the big crash we've been looking for. I'm going to avoid that. And we're up into 10th place. Wow, they're really going four wide through the corner. I have AI uh, aggression on, as you can probably tell, as they almost murder each other at every corner, given the chance. Whoa, that's a good line through there. Found the hole. We've gone from 10th up into 6th place. Thanks, driver. Aggression. We'll call that an intentional drift. Oh man, Circuit of the Americas in this game looks good. That huge Texas sky. Keep pushing, man, keep pushing. We're actually doing really well this race. We've avoided all of the trouble. We've just we've just stayed out of trouble, really. And we're, we're moving up the positions quite nicely. Oh, you know what I wanna do for assists, by the way? I wanna go to assists, damage and fuel. I want, I want fuel and tires on. I completely forgot to do that last episode, but let's let's chuck that on. All right, these other MX-5 seems to be really, really quick. Just putting it out there. I'm gonna need to push really hard if I wanna catch them. So we do have quick stops in this game, but one of the things I'm kind of disappointed in is that at least on these standard difficulties, we don't actually have to use the the pits, which is kind of, kind of annoying. I would have liked to have used them. All right, am I gonna be able to catch both of these guys? As we go on to our final lap here. That's the goal. Am I going to catch him through the S-Bends? Not breaking for that. Whoa, okay. Had to break for that one a little bit. Thank you, orange guy. All right, we've made the move past him. AI likes to get on the brakes really early here. Oh, wow, look at that. That is close. Oh, man, he's got clutch. You can tell the difference. You can see the pull out of the corner. I'm going to try to go for a little switch back here. Ooh, he covers off the inside. Ooh, he covers off the inside very well. But now I've got the inside line. I've just bullied him out the way. Yeah, not every race can be super clean. Whoa. Oh, he's back again. All right. 
This is a good little race we're having, dude. Never mind, goodbye. Well, that was a pretty successful race, if you ask me. Again, I just, I, I figured out that if on 80% difficulty, for me personally, if I stay out of trouble, there is a very, very good chance that I will win the race. That's good. I like that. Well played. Two th uh, two, 2,200. Were they series points? They were. Yeah, series points. All right, so solid 200 points for that. I don't know where that's going to put me overall. I mean, I'm still going to be in first, obviously, after winning both of them. But there is a guy, that Lad Loa guy, is only 10 points behind me, which is making me a little bit nervous. Mods? Yes, sir. 17 grand we just made with mods and we're leveling up. Uh, wow. They, they really do throw money at you. So, we can go for the BMW Z4 in here. Or we can get a Brabham racing gear. Or we can go for 30,000 credits. I'm going to go for the Z4. Just because I feel like the Z4 is quite cool. Let's do that. It costs us 8 grand. But, that's really good collection score. I really wish they gave you prize crates throughout that. Like, leveling up and getting a prize crate. I'm, I'm just saying. Or a discount on a prize crate. I don't know, obviously, if they do that. But... As we are level three now? Level level three now, I think. I, I haven't seen it just yet. It would have been cool if they did that. All right, hopefully we can keep up our reign of victories. And once again, just stay out of the way. Wow, look at these guys. Ah, oh, I forgot to... Wait. I keep saying I forgot to put clutch on. I, for, I, for, I forgot. I forgot I could do a mid-race. Oh, yeah. Now who's got the speed, bro? Whoa, back of the car's flying out. All right, so up into 11th place. Well, we have three laps of Laguna Seca. This is going to take quite a while, actually. Ooh, look at this speed now. It just feels faster now that we got the clutch on. Like, I don't actually know how much faster. It just feels... Thanks, Blue Crew guy. I'm going to lift off. I'm actually going to brake. Because you're a dick. That's, 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 that's aggressive drive guitars for you. Just casually try to kill you. Push you off to the side. One... Wheel to wheel. Oh, whoa. We were way faster through there. Left both of those guys super, super far behind. Pass another blue crew guy. I'm going to actually leave you room because I'm a decent human being. Thanks, Drivatars. I'm going to leave you room again, bro. So you can fly up the inside. Look at that. That's how you're supposed to race. Okay, I take back what I said about the three laps. It's a good thing we have three laps because I'm going to need the extra time to catch up to all of these guys. Also, I'm just going to say that the corner cut on Laguna Seca is still there, where you just gun it through here, and then completely cut the corner here. Just saying. It's, 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 you can use that. Come on, get past them. Get past them. Give me a run. I got no power. No. Bro. God damn it. Oh, we, we were closing in, but not enough. So how's my money situation doing? We're back up to 160 grand. Yeah, money's not hard to come by in this game. Yeah, are we going the wrong way around Rio? Yeah, we totally are. We're going backwards around Rio. Again, try to avoid a lot of the problems, which I would imagine there are going to be a fair few here. I'm going to stay on the inside. Try to avoid a lot of this. Wow, some people are running super wide. I've avoided most of it. We still get into some wheel-to-wheel -wheel action. But up into fifth place isn't bad. Oh man, this is tight through here though. I'm surprised there has not been an almighty crash. Wow, right, you can fly through there, bro. No need to get on the brakes super hard. I find I just race better on some tracks than others. Like, I was never particularly good at Rio in Forza 6, but here I'm not doing too bad. All right, two laps left to go. Whoa, the pits are reversed, too. That's weird. Yo, we can take this flat. No, no, we can't. No, we really can't. Oh, that was quick through there, though. Very, very quick. We're coming up to wheel to wheel with this guy. And we're going to beat him up the hill. Thank you very much. That was a pretty easy race, actually. Like, I, I was not expecting a race that easy. I forgot to start my face cam. So that's a, that's a really good start to the Forza 7 series. God damn it. Hopefully, I'm still in contention for the... Oh. <gasps> yes! I was like, no, I haven't won! Yes! Thank you! Yes! Thank you. First place. Get some decent money, some good earnings. 
We we are just rolling in the money, like seriously. You just get thrown money in this game. It's unbelievable. We're already up to 200 grand. All right, so we're still in the seeker category, but we're 400, 300 something points off. So what I'm thinking is if we go and do this, and if we go and do this, then one, we'll win two cars for doing that. And two, we'll get 500 points and we will pass the secret championship. Let's do that. So what is this one? Well, it's time for you to answer the question. You'll get seated in a rocket of a car and pitted against its older, but still ferocious siblings. Now, they get a head start and you'll need to over- Oh, it's one of these. All right, so we're in the Audi R8 LMS car. We're going around Brands Hatch. I didn't actually see how many laps we're doing, but we're going up, wow, there's an Audi S1. A little TT and stuff like that. Yeah, this is cool. Go! All right, good luck. We have, wow, we only have one lap to pass all of these guys. Oh, I'm gonna turn clutch off. I don't need clutch for this. Oh, this Audi makes a good noise. It's got some more good pops and crackles. All right, we need to catch up to these other guys. If we don't, no 250 points for us. Yeah, it looks good. Brands hatch like on a nice sunny day. Man, this game looks good. All right, I can see everyone. I'm just not as close as I would like to be. There we go. We've closed in on the R8. We've closed in on all of them, actually. Dive bomb them. Get past them all. Come on, R8, LM, LMS. Weave through the traffic. Oh, yes. Past the little S1. Whew. What a stressy lap. But I'll take it. That was quite, quite good. Are we gonna flip? Nah, we're not gonna flip. Close. Nice car. I like the Flying Lizard. Flying Lizard's a cool team, by the way. All right, so we get 250 points for that. And we're gonna take home this Audi. That's a pretty good deal. All right, very cool. So if we go here, there we go. 150 uh, collector score for that. And we head back in here. Let's just do the limo bowling. All right, the top gear test track on a very overcast British looking day. Let's give this a go and uh, nail some car bowling. Yeah, I forgot how slow the limo was stock. By the way, I will give a quick PSA. Um, if you want to be a part of our Forza Motorsport 7 limo NASCAR video we're doing, make sure you come in and you do this showcase event because this is the only way you can actually get the limo. Um, so when we do limo NASCAR, we're gonna be using obviously these limos. So make sure you have it. I'll say, well, it's raining now. All right, let's try to knock down all of these pins with our massive limo. Just trying to swing the thing around as much as possible, but it's so heavy. Come on, come on, get enough. Yes, nailed it. Thank you very much. And across the line, 250 secret points, series points, whatever they're called. We're out of the secret division, boys. Hey, oh, 200K and an achievement, seeker championship. Completed the seeker championship. Thank you very much you just won the seeker championship and you showed everyone what a contender you are now if that's not enough you can now take your shot at the next step to the cup the breakout yes, championship yes please let's go do the next one all right so we have the breakout championship which is the next one. Oh, we get the cadillac thank you and our collection score is increasing again it's really not hard to increase your collection score i know some people were worried about that Yo, Seeker Championship completed. We get the Subaru BRZ Forza Edition. We get a hundred uh, car collection score for that as well. We get a new, uh, what is this, a, a driver gear? Oh, I see what this is. So I need to reach tier three to complete in these ones. We have the breakout open so we can do whatever we want. We can do Porsche 918 Spider Challenge. Whoa, we've got some cool stuff in here. So we either have Sport Compacts, which I like the sound of, we can do modern SUV, or we can do Forza Touring Cars next episode. So, let me know in the comments down below which one of those you guys want to see, and we will do that next episode. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you subscribe. Check out both giveaways at the link in the description down below. Good luck. First one's entering tomorrow, and then the next one the Sunday after. So... Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you soon for some more Forza Motorsport 7. I'll see you guys then. Bye!